Hi friends, now I will tell you about the dosage and frequency of allopathic medicines and cautions. Determination of dose and repetition thereof are the most difficult facets of any prescription which generally is dependent upon the following factors namely stage and status of the disease, type of infection and resultant disease, duration of ailment whether acute or chronic, age and sex of the patient, allergy or intolerance to certain ingredients, patient acceptability and compliance and now cautions in use of medicines. Following types of patients need contagious Continuous monitoring of dose and frequency. First are the pregnant ladies. Next, infants and children. Third, persons suffering from asthma, bronchopneumonia, diphtheria, any heart problem, renal failure, anorea, malignant tumors, tuberculosis, etc. Then, acute diarrhea and dysentery. Diabetic patients, especially those whose blood sugar levels suddenly rise and fall. Then children on insulin therapy, highly emaciated elderly people bleeding from an orifice or opening of the body. Pre and post operative patients, obese or fat persons on dietary control etc. Pharmaceutical companies generally indicate dosage for all groups but even then the recommended doses may have to be adjusted due to drug interaction, contraindication, drug reactions and other cautionary advice. Mostly closely st when closely studied by each case should be individualized in view of a patient's condition, symptoms and health status, a number of useful, useful books provide enough and requisite information about the following points, namely the brand and the brand name uh, brand or the brand name of the medicine and its manufacturing company, presentation and potency, including general symptoms which necessitate using a medicine actual ingredient and concentration or proportion in a drug available in which form tablet capsule or liquid then age wise dosage and pot probable duration of use whether recommended for infants children pregnant ladies and the elderly then contraindications special precautions drug interactions that is with which medicines a specific drug should be taken so as not to enhance or reduce the effects additional drug reactions all these things are printed in books and these books are available some enterprises publish a dictionary or drugs on drugs or monthly quarterly or on annual basis for instance drug today mims india publish booklets containing the said information on quarterly and monthly basis but the details given serve the purpose of qualified and experienced doctors only because they are well versed in the functioning and the parts of the human body that is why i recommend you all to re again please go through my previous videos of the different uh, systems of the body to understand the human body better and then you can use the drugs properly though some glaring expectations cannot be ruled out. More inquisitive readers can gather more information also from various other sources, even from the net. It is believed that a person who has basic knowledge of human body and its functions, diseases, drugs and drug combinations can benefit a lot from such and many other identical publications. As I told you before, that is why I put on the videos before these about the different systems of the human body and their functions and how to take care of them, how can they be damaged, all that. So, diagnostic methods and drug prescriptions 
in a is a continuous process hence no information is a final word and every practitioner is expected to keep himself updated with all the latest developments or the latest medical treatments so that one is aimed with an one is armed with an up to date knowledge about how to treat a certain case then cautions of use of medicines dose and potency of medicines should neither be enhanced or decreased abruptly as i told before no its frequency altered without giving it sufficient time to act and show results always start with minimum dose and potency i said this in my previous video no identical cases or no two patients should be ever compared no medicine dosage potency and frequency be abra be equated for the simple reason that every individual medicines may show variable results even when the symptoms are same in two different people in case of any unusual development never hesitate to consult a doctor for proper guidance if you cannot handle it properly please consult a doctor friends with this if you were able to get an idea about how uh drugs can be used in allopathy and the frequency of them and the cautions if you have understood in my explanation do like comment share and subscribe take care and lots of love to you all